Well, well first of all, I think this, this uh, worldwide conference uh, has been very well organized by our colleagues from United Arab Emirates, very well organized, very generous hospitality, and we are very happy. And I think we are very close to, to have an agreement this evening, uh, an agreement that will be very important for the future of aviation, for the future of sustainable aviation, in order to decarbonize uh, the, the air transport. Uh, um, we will have uh, we will have a new global framework uh, all together, all the ICAO members in terms of uh, policy and planning, uh, regulatory framework, implementation support and financing. Uh, the main elements, but all together can go to the aspirational goal in 2050 to have a net zero uh, aviation. This is not uh, an agreement that uh, legally binding for the country. This is a more, if I may say, it's a political agreement, it's a uh, political commitment to, to work together with all the elements we were, we are going to agree uh, to have an aviation decarbonized in the future. Well, the main pillars to have a, a decarbonized sector are, if I may say, four. The first one is to use sustainable fuels. That is the main goal of this conference. The second one is new technology, mainly engines technology. Uh, the third one is to make operation of flights of airplanes in the in the sky more efficient and uh, market measures. So in Spain is fully committed to 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 these four uh, elements uh, as a part of our strategic plans. Uh, for the airports, for the navigation service provider, for the regulatory and supervisory agencies, is one of the main uh, uh, priorities we have today and in the coming years. Well, uh, I think we completely share, we fully share the goal of the carbonization of aviation. This is the most important. We fully share the aspirational goal of uh, 2050, net zero goal. And maybe there are some difference how to reach this, this aspirational uh, goal. For example, if, how can we fix a goal, intermediate goal, for example, for 2030? What, what number? And this is now we are discussing. This is the, maybe the main uh, question is still to agree. But the rest, I think there is enough financial elements to work all together with the, uh, as you know, ICAO has no country left behind because it's a common goal for everybody. It's not a goal for Europe, uh, states, for Africa, it's a common goal and we should go all together to, to reach this, uh, this very important uh, goal. Well, we are now in the phase of research and development uh, uh, as many, many countries. This is very innovative uh, technology, very... Uh, we are in the beginning, I think, uh, as other countries in Europe or in South Africa or in, or in Africa or South America. We are in the beginning, but uh, we, we need to focus our investment, our efforts to, to have this SAF increase production as much as possible. Yes, in Spain, we, well, uh, we hope in the, in the coming years we have produced in a small quantity, but uh, will increase uh, very much in the, in the forthcoming years. Uh, maybe in, in the 2030 we will have uh, more than 5% of, uh, or 6% of uh, SAF, and afterwards we will uh, increase very much. Of course, at this moment it's more expensive SAF. But as uh, always you have a new product, uh, it's more expensive than the old one. But I'm confident that uh, 
with the use, with the massive production, with the, uh, we will try to have a, a price that everybody will be comfortable. Airlines, the impact on tickets, uh, but at the beginning, of course, it's, it's, it's more expensive. But we need to start in, 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 in any case in some years.